happy and full. <laughs> Buffet breakfasts are a rarity these days with our budget traveling, but they're extremely nice when we get the chance to go to them. Starting our day off with a half hour train delay, which means that we're gonna miss our next trains too. <laughs> People are getting antsy. train station but we only had an eight minute transfer we got here in like three minutes pretty good now we're waiting for our next train and then the next one after that's only four minutes and I think it runs every like ten minutes or so so that's exciting City right on the border of Liechtenstein and Austria. We want to go to Liechtenstein, and so this was the cheapest option because all the Airbnbs in Liechtenstein were either taken or cost like $200 a night. So we can't do that, obviously. from Ronkweil, Austria. Our plan this morning was to go to Liechtenstein on the 824 train, but we looked and saw that the train only runs on Mondays and not Sundays for some reason. The dates were just like scrambled up. So instead, we're taking the morning to go to a local cafe in this small little town, which will be good and then take a bus to Liechtenstein, which actually takes about the same amount of time either way. We've had a nice morning in our little Airbnb. It's so cute and our host is so friendly and nice. She's this old woman who doesn't speak any English. <laughs> and so she's trying to tell me about the washer mach washing machine, wash machine, wash machine, <laughs> something XX or yes. And I'm just like, yeah. Okay. It's like, okay, I'll just not use the washing machine so I don't screw anything up, but it's funny. And I made some coffee. She has like a whole little coffee station, which is my favorite. And we met a nice Californian that was also staying there. So sharing our stories from traveling around Europe was fun. And it's just a cute little spot to stay with the mountains. It's been so nice yeah. and quiet and peaceful. Yes, it has. We woke up this morning later than anticipated because there's a little charging station next to my bedside table and one on Elena's bedside table. And when I was going to sleep, there's a little orange light shining in my face, but nothing was plugged into mine, so I turned it off. I flicked the little switch. <laughs> but it actually turns out that mine was connected to hers. So when I turned it off, none of our stuff charged all night long, and so our alarm did not go off as planned. <laughs> That's okay. We have many options for, for traveling today, so. city whenever you can in Europe because they are always so pretty and like quaint and cute but also the most friendly. That cafe was amazingly good. <laughs> they had like a real life cinnamon roll. A real life oh, cinnamon roll. I haven't had a real life, that's my favorite food in the world, cinnamon rolls. <laughs> but anyway, always if you can stay in a smaller city just outside of the main city. And, and then day trips yeah, to the big city. Take a train, take a bus. It's so worth it, because this is so nice. We're big fans of Rank Vile. <laughs>
So it's just a normal summer day in Liechtenstein. They have this really cool human foosball set up in the middle of everything, and ping pong, and a regular foosball table, and just a lot of fun activities for people to do, which is kind of fun. It's super laid back. A lot of people just kind of chilling out. There's really not a ton to do. <laughs> They're big and that's why they just have little fun games to play outside for anyone who comes. Their main event is their national holiday, which is on August 15th. We're quite a bit away from August 15th, so we're just experiencing Liechtenstein as it normally is. Okay, we just stopped at the tourist center and at the Postal Museum. The Postal Museum is free of charge, and so it's, I don't know, it's like one of the most popular things when we were looking up things to do online. And it's like the smallest little museum that just has like yeah. stamps. <laughs> Takes like but it's kinda cute. 15 minutes to walk through, unless you're really interested in stamps, I guess. But now the last thing we have to do really is go to the Vedu's castle where the prince resides and then we're going to do the Furstensteig hike which is one of the prettiest well it's, it's been voted a lot of times the prettiest in Liechtenstein and a lot of guides say it's the prettiest in the region. Ben decided he wanted to be the prince today. How does it feel? Come my servant. <laughs> I hope it doesn't break. to get a banana for the top of the hill. That cafe was pleasantly good and tasty, but unpleasantly expensive. <laughs> I don't know what we were expecting because they use Swiss francs here, which cost, make everything cost more. So that's okay. That should be the only food we buy in Liechtenstein besides our apples and bananas. journey to the peak of the mountain begins now. Okay, when we were reading about this hike, we read that it was pretty exposed, but so far we've just been walking through like the woods, yeah, an enchanted little forest. But now, you can see it starts getting only rock all the way to the top. So, that's kind of exciting. Excited. And we get a nice cool breeze from out there somewhere. <laughs> the breeze feels much cooler up here. Like, it was so hot hiking up to the castle, but it hasn't been that bad hiking up here. This little spider we spotted on the trail 
His web goes from all the way to the ground, all the way up there. That's like the longest spider web I've ever seen. <laughs> We come up to these little things, I'm not sure what they're for, so they're at the top of a mountain. And a whole another world gets revealed. The other side is so green. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's all mountains. That's crazy. We just came from the rockiest side ever. And on the very other side is total lush green trees, green meadow. <laughs> Lichtenstein is Amazing. Okay, we just got to where the loop starts and stops, so I guess we already passed Furstensteiger. Yeah, Furstensteiger. Now we can either go to the three peaks in a row, go up some more mountain, or go back. And we really didn't know which way was which, but thankfully I had the map still pulled up on all trails, and so the GPS still works even though we have zero service. So here we are, and we're gonna go all the way up here. <laughs> Oh, we made it! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> she led the way all the way up on this one, and I think we might have broken the record for fastest time to get up here from the split. Do you see my face? My sweat, my redness. <laughs> we pushed pretty hard. Oh gosh. We're gonna have a little bit of our victory bananas now. Oh my goodness. Ground victory bananas. Oh. This is unreal. The whole entire time we've had the trail to ourselves, we've met like three other people on the trail. And it's it's pretty big, but like totally silent. We can hear cowbells in the distance. Just the sound of like the breeze. And the birds. One of the most peaceful places I've ever been. And also one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. Definitely the craziest hike. I've ever done. Okay, next part of our hike is all the way back to that peak. We have to go back down and then up the little loopies and then back to here. That is where the split happens, and there's one part that goes down, but we didn't realize until we got up to this peak that actually there's a part that goes to the top as well. So we're gonna do that, and then I guess we'll be, we'll be done. Snake sighting. Hey. He's pretty little though, so I think we can just jump over him. You go first and see what happens. <laughs> Didn't even budge. Okay, we made it back to the split and realized that this is part of the Via Alpina, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, is the first Trans Alps route, meaning it goes through Switzerland, Liechtenstein, and France. Oh, France, Italy, Austria, Austria Slovenia, kind of Germany too. Okay, so well, just hiking trails like that go through the entire Alps. It's kind of cool. We're doing a little section of it. Oh my gosh. We 
just made it up to the peak and now we travel back down to where we started. It's so green, it's so nice. It's like we're walking through a meadow. This is the way down. I guess we're just gonna... What's up, dude? Hey, guys. And three and a half hours later, we made it back. It feels really good to walk on level ground again. Yes, it does. <laughs> I don't think a single part of that entire place was flat for more than like five feet. <laughs> It was extremely rewarding though. Highly, highly recommend coming to Liechtenstein, meeting their super nice people, and climbing their amazing hike. <laughs> this is the coolest bus I've ever been on. <laughs> okay, we just got off the bus at Feldkirk, which is like four minutes away by train to where we're staying. But we're ultimately hungry from that hike. My watch says we burned 2,000 calories, which is kind of crazy. So there's this little kebab shop on the corner. We tried to look up a bunch of restaurants, but it did not have very good information for small towns like these. Um, and so we're hoping this place is open. We're about to feast on some kebabs. It was open. <laughs> I didn't get much of it. It's like as big as your face. Three bus rides, one train, and a kebab stop later. We've arrived back to our home for tonight only. <laughs>